Hey guys, Ursi here, and we are back with more Rogue Legacy. Um, it hasn't been quite long enough, so no room for a comment section down below, but eh, I'm batch recording this, so it takes me a while to get your hints and suggestions. And I'll, I'll, I got them, but it'll just show up a few episodes later. And it's just this first set that I'm going to batch record. After that, it's going to be a lot more interactive. So, okay, that's the business. Let's dive right in. Okay, we got our first choice in heirs. Sir Lee's heir can be Sir Judson the Barbarian. No foot pulse, and he's got muscle weakness, so enemies can't get knocked back. Could be useful. And Sir Eric, a barbarian, has gigantism and blade wall, which I've learned is a fairly useless spell. A mage? Sounds good. Gigantism? That's more of us to hit, but okay. And Alzheimer's? Mm, I'm not liking Alzheimer's. And the mage? Not so much. Uh, Sir Judson? I know the Chakram is supposed to be a really good spell. I think we're gonna go with Sir Judson. Here we go. This is where we upgrade our stuff, so we can get the smithy, first of all. Blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritable, virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. That's quite a tongue twister. Gathering blueprints will give him an eye an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. Another tongue twister. So that's what our blueprints are for. We found two blueprints last time, so we've got some upgrading to do. And we can do health up. And what's this? Mana up. I think we'll get mana up and health up. And let's go see what the blacksmith can do. I think let's exit the manor. Here he is. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Uh, sorry, I just slipped into a voice there. And we'll run with it. Without those blueprints, I can make only cutlery and stuff. Please bring black, bring back my blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. I need to get better at reading things. At a price, of course. Not sure why all the voices I do sound English, like a very bad English accent. Okay, so we got a sword, 250 gold. Um, not sure on that. The helm, which I think we may have unlocked that. No, we got the uh, um chest plate and the cape, 150. That's awfully expensive. We can do the helm and the uh, um, chest plate. You can see that. And squire limbs. And then the squire cape. What does that actually give us? 4% critical hit chance. I think we'll go with the helm and the squire chest. So we've got 9 armor from that. And what did this give us? 20 health and 5 mana. Okay. We're a barbarian. We're going to the castle. Let's dive right in. Who's this shady character? One must pay the toll. Give Charon all your money and enter the castle? Confirm. It's a whole 20 gold. This better be worth it. And we upgraded, so... I think we can make that back. We can probably make it back just in the starting room. We have to remember to smash all this stuff every time. And I think you can... Can we do this? Yeah, we can check every journal entry from right there. So... Oh. Lucky thing we hit that painting. I almost jumped right into it. Oh. Come on. Get back here and fight me, painting. Like a man small child. Oh, zombies. Let's take him out. They don't... Oh, we got um, muscle weakness, so we can't really do anything. We can't 
knock them back. I thought that was something just with zombies. A moment there, but I guess not. Oh. I'm not sure how I avoided that bone, but it worked. Oh, I think these... Why aren't they popping out? Oh! I think I remember reading a tip once that Spike Trap's sense of pulse? Since you've got PA, um, no foot pulse. Cool, we can run on the Spike Traps. I think this would be a challenge for any other hero. Oh, we got hit by that guy. But this no knockback is really hurting us. We got a chest, so... Yeah, we won some, we lost some there. Let's move on. Grab as much loot as possible. I'm gonna jump here, trying to avoid the bones. Let's go right. Okay, I think I can time this right. There we go. Now it's the return trip. Okay. And here we go. There we are. Right on through. No big deal. I, I knew what I was doing there. No, I didn't. I wonder if that whisper will show up. I'll listen to it in post. Let's see if it did. And if it didn't, you guys will have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'll try not to do that to you guys. I, or I'll try to do it as simple as possible. I don't know, it might be funny. Me ranting about things that you have no idea about. No, better not. That doesn't make good viewing makes for my own personal laughs, which you guys aren't here for that. You are here to be entertained by myself. Something which I am brand new at and to tell the truth, probably not very good at, but eh, that can change in time, hopefully. He says in desperation. Take out these corrupt knights. Notice that we've been hitting a lot of chests. And I'm so glad I figured out the like the small jumps and taking them out without them even getting a chance. What's up here? This th I think this is one of those teleport rooms. The Maya. Oh that was no 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 thank you I'll be leaving now we're going right because right is the right way to go Chess, there are lots there's lots of treasure down here um can we take out these guys I think we can beat them and if not we can get some money There. Here, let's try using the shock round. Get it to come back around. That'll hit them twice because they're so big. One. Yes! That spell just saved us. But we haven't got much mana. I think it's the barbarians don't have much mana. Hey, we made pretty good use of it. Another teleporter room. Okay. Oh, I think the teleporter rooms lead to new areas. That's that might be a thing. That shield looks dangerous. We'll jump around. Jump up, jump, jump around. I cannot sing that song. Not only because it's copyright, but also because I can't really sing. Oh! New blueprint. Blood cape. It's a blood cape. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out. Okay, that's what happens if we hit him on the ship. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to really hurt us. Maybe it will if there are any of those spike balls around, but... Don't seem to be, so... 
too bad. The third row of equipment usually has major trade-offs. Be careful. Were his parting words? We'll have to look into that. Enter. Choose our heir. There's Sir Dude the Knave, a risky hero of low stats but can land devastating critical hits. And he's stereo blind. Hmm. Gonna pass. Lady Shinoa, a mage with tunnel vision and OCD. No peripheral vision, and so if we break stuff, we restore MP, which is probably good for a mage. How about this guy? Another mage with Alzheimer's, dyslexia, and shotgun. None of these are really good choices, but I think we'll go with Lady Shinoa. The Bearded Lady. Let's upgrade our knight into Paladins, a ferocious forefront fighter. Promote your knights into Paladins. Through rigorous training, Paladins have learned how to block blows from any direction. Is this game just going to be a whole mess of tongue twisters. 
Upgrade your carrying capacity will allow you to wear better and heavier armor. Mm, I think we'd better buy one and see where that leads us. Let's leave those options and go to the blacksmith. Okay. What have you got? Squire sword. Plus seven damage. That's a good option. So we saw the squire cape. The blood cape. Plus one to vampirism. Minus 30 health. And we... It's too heavy for us to wear, it seems, so I don't think we'll be going with it, but thank you for the offer. Let's go for the Squire Cape and the Squire Limbs, and then if we can, we'll do the sword as well. No, we can't do the sword. We'll have to upgrade one more time. Okay, let's go upgrade our equipment. And then, the sword doesn't cost too much, so we can do the architect. I think he's like the smith. He'll show up in that area to do whatever he does. What do you do, Master Architect? The architect can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the layout of a castle? Lock it down. Just make sure you can avoid his fees. Those fees don't sound too fun. Not sure we'll use him all too much. Enchantress. Unlock the Enchantress and gain access to her magical runes and powers. Mm. Let's see this. The Enchantress can empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Find the runes to increase your repertoire of body modifying talents. Your crystal ball is just for show. I'm not sure how much we're gonna use these guys. Okay, let's upgrade this one more time, and then we'll go buy our fancy sword. Here we go. Plus 7 damage, 260 to spare. Let's go talk to the enchantress. Hello there. Hello, hero. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell it back to you at a profit. How nice of you. What's this? Sprint rune. So, she hasn't lost all her runes. 176... Gain the power to dash short distances. Okay. Any other runes? Oh, there's one here. Vault Room. Grants you the power to jump in the air. So, like a double jump? That could be useful. Let's continue to look. No, nothing. Let's go for the Vault Room. And we will march on. Let's leave the engineer for now. We'll talk to him later. And we paid the toll, but I think that's where we're going to cut it here for this episode. Thank you all for watching. You have all been wonderful. I have been Erskig. Goodbye.